Point number one to notice, still we don't have ability to park on a driveway. This is where it's supposed to go, but it didn't. It will now look for parking spot and it found it itself. At least it goes closer to the curb now and parks at the curb instead of standing in the middle of the street like Uber that, uh, you know, delivered you to your address. Now, actual auto park. You don't need to adjust anything inside your settings in the car, but you drive slowly and you can notice that it's scanning any available uh, parking spots. And if you click on it, it will take it, right? Let me show you. So I'm coming close to my house and I can see that in front of this big white truck, there is a parking spot, right? Let's see if the car detects it. Yeah, now it shows the park. Let me show you closer. So I will come to that place and click on that parking spot, like selecting it, right? So I'm coming next to this big white car, truck, and I select this parking space. Then I need to put it in the rear and click start and let the brake pedal go. So it's parking itself, as you can see. It's pretty efficient. And let's do it from uh, take number one. So it doesn't need multiple takes even in this case. And I guess it will pull forward. Yeah, that's what I would do exactly. So technically it's in the middle of the parking spot you selected. It disengages itself and it goes to park itself. You see, I didn't touch or do anything. I didn't touch pedals. I didn't touch the steering wheel.